My name's Jordi Hendricks. I'm here at Montana State University. I head up the Snow and Avalanche Lab over in Earth Sciences, and I've been here about five years now. The project that we're calling Ski Tracks is a project that we've been running for two years now, and it's designed to collect a crowdsourced information of where people move in the backcountry, and at the same time, have survey-based information about who they are and how they made decisions in the backcountry. And the work that I'm doing on the Tracks project is with a social scientist called Professor Jerry Johnson. And his background is in political science. He spent his whole career looking at political decision making, and now he's applying that to the snow safety side of things. Uh, that collaboration allows me to expand my traditional kind of geophysical approach to snow science into a connected snow science research that allows me to look at both snow factors of snow safety, but also about how people make decisions. So what we're doing in this work is we're integrating surveys, uh, so surveys about who people are uh, and about how they make decisions. Once we get that, we will bounce you back a survey. That survey is now a very short survey, but really focuses on how did you make decisions. And what we can see when we've got all that information, we've got who you are, where you went, and who you were with, and how you made decisions. And that really completes the picture about how decisions are being made in the backcountry and gives us an insight into the type of terrain you're using and how you're choosing to make those terrain choices. Uh, and then we can extract a whole lot of really critical variables from that track. So we can pull out things like, how much of your day did you spend on slopes of 30 degrees? What aspect were you on? Based on the forecast, which we also pull, we can then look and see how much of your time was on wind-loaded slopes versus lee slopes. Was that the zone that was of most concern or were you mostly skiing aspects of least concern? And how did that change during the day? And how did it change with different groups? But increasingly I was seeing people that were dying that had a lot of that snow science knowledge, that had already found out and had read the literature and had worked out and done a number of courses and worked professionally and understood arguably a good amount of snow science knowledge. And yet they were making really bad decisions. And I strongly believe that if we can better understand how people make decisions with snow science knowledge, that we can make a bigger impact in terms of fatalities than we can just by looking at, say, how crystals form in the snowpack. We need to know that, but we also need to know how we can make decisions. And that part is the part that's really had relatively less attention over the last 100 years or so of snow science research.